that's I want to appeal that it should not just be a public hearing question of how much was paid how much was not paid we should move far from those much talking it should be something that while we're doing it by the end of the committee work there should be action Chairman of the Senate Adult Committee on the East-West Road and Eleme Ogoni Corridor, Senator Amen Ninki, said after the site assessment, they will be conducting public hearing and assured that they will ensure that the expected work to be done on the road will make it serve the people for a long time. Tamun Nobarabi, Iblubo, RSTV News. The need for pregnant women to abstain completely from alcohol consumption because of its adverse effects has been advocated. Senior Program Officer New Nigeria Foundation, Stanley Nyeche, and Accountant and Country Corporate Affairs Lead for International Breweries PLC, Mr. Ma Dr. Miriam Brada, Reginald Nwokoma, said this on a live interview program in depth with Lillian on RSTV. The guest explained that the campaign is not against the drinking and consumption of alcoholic beverages as men and women who are not pregnant can drink moderately or responsibly. They said the focus is on pregnant women because of the several dangers associated with such habits, particularly on the fetus. According to them, consumption of alcohol by pregnant women can lead to brain retardedness of the fetus, low birth weight, slow development and stunted growth of the fetus. Alcohol to a pregnant woman affects the baby in the womb. It brings what we call uh, some deformities. It could be cleft palate. I've seen people that most times when they have rheumatic openings, I uh, also bring the issues of uh, maybe low bed weight. It affects the brain, right, the brain formation, and can make what we call a preterm birth. The preterm birth simply means that a one has an EDD of maybe July or September and can have that child now what we call a premature uh, baby or still bed, they can die. So that's why we're advocating strongly that the mother should not take a pregnant woman. The time a woman looks at the child that she brings forth into this world, especially the pregnant women, how that child is healthy, strong, and what she just needs to do is to abstain from alcohol for the period of nine months. I think it is worth it. They also condemn drinking of alcoholic drink by children below 18 years and advise motorists not to drink while driving or drive while drinking to avoid road crashes. The guests also dismiss myths or insinuations that drinking of alcoholic drink by pregnant women makes them strong, noting that they can only drink before and after pregnancy. According to them, they are collaborating with several organizations, including Ministry of Health, local government councils, and Federal Road Safety Commission to pass the message to the appropriate quarters. The essence is to prevent underage drinking, beach drinking, not sell up alcohol or serve alcohol to minors, and at the same time, it's a no-no for pregnant women. It is the possibility that when we take alcohol, it has a harmful effect on the fruitus in the womb. So I will encourage every pregnant woman to be patient, be disciplined, and just hold on for that nine months that the child is out. And when the child is out, if they must drink, drink responsibly. The campaign against drinking of alcoholic drinks by pregnant women is supported by the World Health Organization. Nnamdi Olimini, RSTV News. Chairman of the Presidential Committee on Tax Policy and Fiscal Reform, Taiwo Oyodele, has valued has value added tax called for the suspension of VAT on automotive gas oil, also known as diesel, should be suspended. Oyedele said that the VAT suspension will cushion the harsh economic effects of the full subsidy removal as directed by President Bola Tinubu. Oyedele, who appeared on a TV program, revealed that the nation's fiscal governance covers issues ranging from debt limit to the ratio of deficit to gross domestic product as indicated in the Fiscal Responsibility Act, reporting revenue generation and the quality of spending. He noted that a lot of people within the tax net, especially the middle class and the elite, are not compliant with tax regulations 
adding that some of them are in the net, tax net with one or two fingers. The National Agency for Food, Drug and Administration and Control, NAFDAQ, has cautioned Nigerians against ripening fruits with calcium carbide and purchasing drugs from street vendors. NAFDAQ's Director General Mojishola Adeyeye, presented by Leonard Omoparalia, who said this at a sensitization workshop in Oka, the Anambra State Capital, disclosed that calcium carbide generally contained impurities such as arsenic, lead particles, phosphorus, and others that pose, that pose several serious health hazards. Adeyeye said that the consumption of ripened fruits or calcium carbide could cause frequent thirst, irritation in the mouth and nose, weakness, permanent skin damage, difficulty swelling, vomiting, and skin ulcers, and could lead to heart failure, kidney failure, liver failure, and even cancer, which must be avoided. According to her, artificially ripened fruits can be identified by their unnatural color, particularly bananas and plantains, which may exhibit an unnatural uniform yellow color with darker stems. The NAFDAQ Director General pointed out that naturally ripened fruits tend to have brown or black spots, whereas artificially ripened fruits might show traces of powdery substances and peel off quickly. The National Population Commission, NPC, says it has put everything in place to conduct the 2023 Population and Housing Census. NPC Federal Commissioner in Adamawa, Clifford Zira, Zira, disclosed that the Commission was only waiting for instructions from President Bola Tinubu to start the exercise. Zira spoke on Wednesday in Yola during an interactive session with media executives on the status of preparations for the census and disclosed that the Commission had carried out all the necessary preparations towards the census such as the enumeration area demarcation, conduct of pre-test and trial census, training of field staff and establishment of ICT infrastructure across the country among other activities. According to him, President Bola Tinubu has expressed satisfaction with the level of achievement recorded by the Commission, noting that the census was a vital exercise that would play a significant role in shaping the future of the nation. He said the postponement has also given the Commission an opportunity to further perfect its processes and systems for the conduct of the first ever digital census. Keynote of the former Emir of Kanu Lamido Sanusi has met with cool leaders in the J Republic. Sanusi meeting is coming after the junta aborted a meeting with representatives of African Union, AU, Economic Community of its African State, ECOWAS, and a top U.S. diplomat. Delegation raised by ECOWAS could not broker peace with the military rulers as they declined a meeting. According to video which went viral on Wednesday, Sanusi was seen meeting with the cool leader Abdurrahman Tiani and others. Sanusi met the junta leaders in company of the Sultan of Damagaran. Damagaran is the third largest city in Niger. The founder of Meta says the company has introduced a new WhatsApp feature with the ability to screen share during video calls. 83 Resources, a consultant for managing Meta in Nigeria, Mark Zuckerberg made the announcement on his Facebook page on Tuesday. Report says the latest update offered users the ability to share their screens in real time during conversations by clicking on the designated share icon. Users can choose between sharing a specific application or their entire screen. It noted that this function opened up a variety of possibilities from collaborating on work documents to browsing through photos with family, planning trips, shopping online with friends, or providing technical assistance to grandparents. How do you love and care about River State and her peace? If yes, let's build and take her to greater heights. It is a task we must all accomplish. And up ahead on the news, doctors in Sudan warn of looming cholera outbreak in Khartoum as corpses are later streets following intense fighting. And 
11 confirmed dead in a fire at Holiday Home in France. Details shortly after the break. To stay. Now available in new flavors. Say no to malaria. Yes to life. No matter what I do, you love me unconditionally. You show up for me every day. No matter where it's in, I show you. You show me Now available in new flavors. You show me love. Awesome wonder and mighty ruler, the king of all the earth. I have said this, and I'm going to say this. My vision is not to buy private jets. My vision is not to drive the most expensive car. My vision is not to use the money of God to build expensive school that the members that contributed cannot attend. My vision is to use the resources of God prepare people for heaven. My vision is to look for the lost souls, look for the prostitutes, look for the armed robbers, look for the killers, look for the assassins, use the resources of God and rehabilitate them and prepare them for heaven. My vision is to look for children that cannot go to school. Children that are roaming on the street. Use the resources of God. Take them to a school. Then that they can go to school and become be better people tomorrow. That is my vision. OBS. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. This is RSTV World News. We bring you world-class news, accurate, first-hand, entertaining, balanced analysis. RSTV, Channel 22, Pohakors. Hey, welcome back to still watching the RSTV World News. And now on the foreign scene, an international aid group, Save the Children, says mugs in the Sudanese capital, Khartoum have reached their capacity as the... As the wars in Sudan gets into months of intense fighting, the aid group has said that this leaves thousands of corpses to rot on the streets as doctors and relief organizations warn of a looming cholera outbreak. According to the group, bodies in the mugs are also decomposing as prolonged power outages have left them without red refrigeration with no staff left, leaving the corpses exposed and untreated. The disaster is the latest hazard after months of clashes between the Sudanese Armed Forces, SAF, and the Paramilitary Rapid Support Forces, RSF, which broke out in mid-April as both parties tried to take control of the capital. A statement by UNICEF disclosed that, on, that at least, on the average, 435 children have been killed and no fewer than 2,025 others injured, adding that the child is killed or injured every hour. 11 bodies have been found after a fire ripped through a holiday home hosting people with learning disabilities in Eastern Province. Nearly 80 firefighters were sent to the blaze on the fort after emergency services were alerted. The fire has now been extinguished, but its cause is not yet clear. 17 people were evacuated from the building, with at least one person taken to hospital. French President Emmanuel Macron said his thoughts were with the victims and their families and thanked the emergency services for responding to the tragedy. 
Initially, emergency services confirmed that nine people had died while the search for the bodies of the two remaining missing people went on. By the afternoon, Deputy Prosecutor for Colma, Natalie Kelswasa, confirmed that their toll had risen to 11. Reports say one woman has died and more than 50 have been injured following a warehouse explosion near Moscow, officials say. Moscow State Governor Andre Vorobov said on Telegram that six people were in intense care, intensive care. Videos shared online showed a large plume of smoke billowing from the facility in the city of Sergivev Posad. The blast occurred on the grounds of a factory that Russian media has previously said manufactures military equipment like night vision goggles. The stock wave blew windows from nearby buildings, damaging the residential apartments, two schools, and a nearby sports complex. Mr. Vorobov said that the explosion occurred in the warehouse storing fireworks, which was located on the grounds of the Zakog's optics manufacturing plant. Investigators dismissed claims the explosion was caused by a drone attack, despite pro Kremlin commentators suggesting that was the case. The explosion came shortly after Russian Defense Ministry said two drones were shot down near Moscow overnight, one near the airport. Russia blamed Ukraine for the drone attacks. Ukraine has not claimed involvement in either the drone attacks or the warehouse explosion. However, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has previously said attacks on Russia territory are an inevitable, natural and absolutely fair process. In our own entertainment, this year's MTV Video Music Award Best Afrobeat Songs category will be keenly contested by RS stars Rush. Burner Boys, It's Plenty, the videos on Unavailable featuring Musa Keys, Fireboy DML's Bandana featuring Ashake, Libyanka's People, Rema and Selena Gomez's Calm Down, and Whiskey's Sugar featuring RS Stars. Olivia Naimeka tells us more on these and other stories. To stay. In a giant feat, Rama's Calm Down earns nomination for Collaboration of the Year and Song of the Year alongside other heavyweights like Miley Cyrus's Flower, Sam Smith and Kim Petra's Unholy and Olivia Rodrigo's Vampire. While the host is yet to be announced, the 2023 VMAs will hold on Tuesday, September 12, 2023 at the Prudential Center in New Ark, New Jersey. Nigerian singer and songwriter Simi has detailed how she noticed that her vision was going bad three years after having her daughter at Dejari. In the video posted to her TikTok account, she narrated what she called a sob story to her viewers, noting that she now has to wear glasses. She described how she noticed that her vision was deteriorating after having her daughter, who is now three years old, and to add to that, it continued to worsen until she decided to see an optician just three months ago. Canadian rapper and singer Tori Lanez has been sentenced to 10 years in prison for shooting Megan Pete, also known as Megan De Stadion. The entertainer was found guilty on three gun-related charges in December 2023, which included assault with a semi-automatic handgun, carrying a loaded unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and discharging a firearm with gross negligence. Following that, he was held in country jail. Tori Lanez was convicted of shooting fellow entertainer and Grammy winner Megan Thee Stallion in the foot during an argument after they left Kylie Jenner's party in 2020 and faced a maximum of 22 years and 8 months in prison. The shooting left Megan needing surgery to remove a bullet from her leg. The prosecutors on the case had initially called him to be sentenced to 13 years in prison, claiming that he lacked remorse and was clearly incapable of accepting any responsibility for his own actions. After his sentence was read, the rapper issued his statement to the court saying that if he could turn back the time on the series of events that happened that night, he would, and that rapper Megan was still his friend and someone he cares about. Tori Lanners also says that he takes full responsibility for everything that happened in the night of the incident. Many social media users and since taken to social media taking sides on this case. While some felt that Lanners' conviction was well deserved, others felt that 10 years was too harsh a sentence for a graced foot.
Olivia Nemeka, RSTV Entertainment News. Do you love and care about River State and her peace? If yes, let's build and take her to greater heights. This is a task we must all accomplish. And now to end the news is a recap of some of our major stories. River State Governor Simlai Fubara has asked the Senate at her committee on East West Road and Elime Ogoni Corridor to ensure that actual construction work commenced and completed on the East West Road. Presidential Committee Chairman on Tax Policy Fiscal Reforms, Taiwo Ayodele, has called for suspension of value added tax on diesel. We also brought you a report that NAFTAC has warned against consumption of fruits ripened by calcium carbide. And that's the news. Thank you so much for being a part of it. My name is Emily Tari Emperu. You have an amazing night's rest. Petroleum Industry Actory as it takes concern all of Nawe Oye the flow yafu yafu for na area na indeo where thirty percent of the Oye company operating cost is now set aside for the development of your community. For this new arrangement, now na people go work together with the Oye company with their area, conjointly plan the development project will go make sense and make life better on our that area. If you experience pollution, the law say the Oye company must face the problem sharp sharp. And those days when they go abandon Oye where they are not use again without cleaning up the place and return to factory setting, don't pass so now the Nigerian option. Petroleum Regulatory Commission NUP ROC talk will say you deserve the right to know, but once you know, you go make sure say you save that the only way with your area. More money mean more development for you and your community. Now we done oh, 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 oh. Now we go. Good news, you don't land a head. Now, now the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission NUP ROC bring you this message. No matter what I do, you love me unconditionally. Now available in new flavors. Tutu wama kabo hada ya rano Petroleum Industry Act Owe, ndechi go ha kori le mnube kere gome Egwa e waiberi ha gano mono jino ha E gori me kwa te lio ha E wai amduro pesente to 3% Ni hi Petroleum Industry Act ka sorumu wenem Ome kwe lio ha kezi na kanyo bola Mono ko jokba ya labi ya la ime ha baro neko Nde eno mono yo huya ngwa ngwa me kwa ta ya Bebe kwe masi moro eno bubusa rufusa Vya na meli ruho jo Ni hi ka, nyo bula ye yiko ta ka Lady de pepa ono gano mono ne lio ha Mandebu Zunu ndojo wa robi ala ime homa zino hain Kaye me, eli mama, eli oha no toto Na we don wo, oh 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 Na we go Good news you don't land a hell ya Na we go Ndegwe ya rizika abo Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission NUPROC Here we are, nestling and boisterous Supreme base of a nation great a heritage built on a cocktail of cultures, a land sprawling in immense propensity, 
This is who we are, River State, a promise of unending possibilities. The time has come to shift the paradigm and congregate in a plural voice so we can build a new bridge of enduring unity, together. Let us cascade the potent harvest of our glorious destinies. Let all and Sandra hear the clarion call, for the time is now, to prove our reverseness and put an end to our divisiveness. Listen to the roar of hydrocarbon engines, stirring alive a nation's hopes. See the majesty of our people blessed, with eternal gates that run deep in the well of our generosity. River State is a symbolic threshold where hope is lit like fireflies, illuminating dark dungeons of yesterday, and that is why we must break away from Norwid norms and pedestrian inclinations. River State will survive the siege. Our people must surmount the surge. Come, proclaim and defend our unbreakable spirit, so we can renew our communal covenant. This is River State where peace reverberates in solemn resonance. Nigeria. <laughs> Ochichi eliste ta emu simnala ifobara kule kasno ele obo oro ome u nochichi ele Nigeria nzigo ele Abuja mva vonga no oro eru no vochita no eli guacha mbele obo mso oleka oboro akwa ezi ezuri me eliste ta kenkanki akwa eleme nsebu eli ogoni kano akwa ya lalule. No, no, the elevado, Siko Galima, Ele, no Bobuele, no elevado, no tang, Garono, Aquaya, Ele, Ubu, and Vano Han of Wachita, Heve Kuru Va, Vuma Veneka, Uburu, Aqua, do Vosa, Oma, no Vega Terishin, or Zeke, Veso, Ofak or Soga, Vamiavo, Aqua, Garone, and Rishi, or Chistate, Vanuku Casnove, no Henu of Lambasoro, Yavo, Aqua. Kaveme wara wara, mozike ve sonu akwaya, ni hinu, rumu eliste etaye no rumu eliogoni. Na eleme, nove no tahun, garonu akwaya. Ovuma kuno kukano, akwogoni, nove akwa mfaruru kezi, no goyano ele Nigeria, e waino nge ele Nigeria uri. Na akwaya amegwe he, ve so olevome anya. Nelishi state, kwa kwa wanu mbele obuwa, mvano hano reyano, no sike ve so tuniko totun, Nkeve so ga, vimi kwa tayavu akma. Ovama kono oku, kasnele obuwa, kanu, ovru nu ochichi ele Nigeria, nu ochichi zmolu, nso kurikota, kanu veso nu yavu akma. Na akma wa, no so buli inventa, no nu, ni jinu, akma wa ze hon hago, no wa ochichi ele Nigeria nze. Ni jinu, akma wa no fan uru kezi, kanu ovru langura yele, Nasi kebe so yikota aka, vyamu yavu akma. Ovoku kasino elu obuwa. Kanu, ozi ve duru ve zite ele abuja. Va eliste etay. Ka ve anon hiya anvo he ve duru ve. Ve me ke ele obu ve ho yaro. Nozia, nme. Nele obu ya va. Suku kwa novla. Ve tunatun. Ke oso gama ve anon kwa yavu akma. The Gozoku cover Baba Sendi Shi or Chi and then Nigeria Vuna who got no Gada or Chichi. The Kuba, a love la Vido Tovuna no canvas on Ria Vakma. Oruke Vemebaro, have Kohia Dun, Zite Koizia no Onuru, 
nota no akwaya hunre oro ka ve meto he elozia me ve me hian vo he nkwesire kwesi neri shindu gwele obuwa ve zia nva oleka obor akpanuri me eliste ta ezite oro mewu no ele nigeria vo sineto abdu ninge ahmed vano oku kasino romo eliste ta kuma ko kasineri shi ngada oche ele kanu ozi wa be fa na ofochitan ni ngbe ve so mi pa heve duru ve no ve so gba okuko gwesenu neri shi oche ele nigeria vuhula nu ele ubu ve oka nu ve sima ko po uku suku ne novela no si ke ve so tun otun me lo ha be leze marumi koro novela ma ve yikota ka hun ke ve so orun ya vu apa e fa ma kuno ko enku aka no ve so no apa ya no no de osoto novela ovu no nu anu ma ko lo ka ke suru evo ele ogbo ngun se ele vadun mmagu wadu vele konzinu rime ele nigeria no ro vele konzinu ele na ele ovla nso nzinu rime ele ai ele ogbo avu ele ogbo national population commission npc ya vu hele be ke nsugu si ve garu no ya evo ku ka no ve kwale njike no gun ele vadun ma yo maru wadu vele konzinu rime ele nigeria no awake kanu ve kwale njike ne nku oka wa bu ne ri sive nu ele adamawa nvu nye di ke clifford zira ya bu ne nku oka ona vo chita nu ke ve po oku nu ele abuja kanu he ke ngugu nve nu omehewa nu snogun ele vadun nu he ve segu vo ge ne ri si ochi ele nigeria nvu ahmed tinibu nbe oso fin aka ba okuko ofia saka ngaro be ikike ka ve video onu ogungun eleva adun ma marwa adun vele konsinu ele nigeria no rime awake kanu ngbe ve kwanjike omehe meme ogun eleva adun nu oja nu ne rishi ochi ele nigeria nu okila leve kanu ve gbalele na enu ya verun verun gara de ka ske ve duru ve nu verun kwara koma ni ya ma ko heme sima ko minu boke ofuru nu Neri shi oche ele Nigeria mfia aka ngaro be ikike ihun ha ya vu ke otutu ke tanwe ya oro bo vem nton sunani ihun aka lem anu be ka o sete me bi gbobranga river state television me bo pakabo opera de medukai da broma bo patients fo bara oye wa ine me bu edukai we na mi ti se ko sin e governor sin mi life fo bara dugoke se ko bri ware bo kala pote en toke ama brana ere brana kiri dokare tela na embolo na okoni na boko bo sin ma pretermine isi an kiri ama brana ere brana kiri dokar me nama me sake tepeke ani me krama me me odukom ani braswa tike kiri doko aro na piki tuwa kapo na piki ani yobo angara me prete ena toro seri me kunu maba govuna fobara me me dukom ane oribe seko bri wale me kalak bo me apote seko bri bo hadul nigi hakmed gamet wale akot kiri bo bote orima doke sake Governor Bedukom me mete isi na ma mabra na ere bra na kiri dokaru si na ma me ane se gamet gbosa ke boso opieke eno ke biya ekore bala bro ane yo ane yo meke gboke separate me ibi bakam governor bedukom me 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 te se ko bri ware me kura 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 bo igbigite epelepelete okere beye kuma me me 
ama brana ere brana kiri doka aro bosang so ane bubo fori me ane poma te bubo ama ye wwe son te oduko teke yine kalak boba pro me prem nese ene mo brata poma ena mye ye mye te sote ane mete yine ma ane remu yiyo me digite mye te tomi nilite ena ne bo kona masakite piki kiri doka ri ete la me kori kuno mam opa kere bobo Nkana seme legi teke seko bri wane bo kalak bo me Seko bri wane bo ama brana ere brana Embole na okoni na boko pere mo Seko bri bo hamdu nigi akmed Mu yu yo me lama fama labo Duko mine I moko yme ere taima i duko teke I ni seko bri wane me preba te enan bubu digi te peke Ane bo kori na mawe sakema Ane bwari bra bo Seme seme na wane wane na ke upo ke ane bepo duko te mene mia ego goye eke oro tante ke eme kura be seme seme na peke wane wane na ke em e gare bo seme na peke wane wane na ke em bo adama wa bo ke seme da bo clifford zira me me duko paka mam te duka re mene se se seme da bo ak me bo latini bo mia ikura re mene imi ye me sake zila be me ba feri bo ekwa po na ekwa re me sake bo ane ili mate le mate late mra ike bra we teke me me kura me a ima kore ba bo bo duko mene to waba ete ane bo be kore ta ane bo kona ma kore ba eba po ori be ye ke ito li mate e peke ane bo bo e kore ba ibe ye we ndi mi te se se me bo o duko bra bo se se me da wo bo la ti di bu bo ma te me la bra ke mi o belem ane ili ma bra were te e ke kona me kona be te le ma la te bra bo be mi duka re mene se ba bo nye me te ke mba ribe yi me ane me te se me se ba bra ane we ni mba ribe yi o duko mene e tare tari ye ba te ane suku ma troko mu ye me ane po ma te ibi ke e na mi e mi mi e mba ba ne me te ili bu ye la ba e a yi so ane mba e kore fa ma te Mena po me bo bi duka ima bo da sanga. Je fe noro wa peke jay naba. O ba were ya. Don't let me get you. 